Today we're going to look at a warm water bath on a multiplex ice core unit. We're going to have an E4 error code and the compressor is not running. First thing we're going to check is, is the green light above the compressor agitator button on steady or blinking. And it needs to be on for the compressor to run. We're going to first follow the troubleshooting steps for if the green light is on steady. Hold the PGM button in until the display changes to 0001. Release that button and the display will change to C000 on its own. Press and hold the compressor agitator button. The display should read CC11. If it reads anything else, check the ice bank probe. You can remove the ice bank control probe from the water bath. You squeeze the mounting bracket flat, turn it 90 degrees, and pull it out of the water with the probe attached. Inspect the three pins on the bottom for corrosion. Clean any corrosion off the probe with emery cloth, scotch bright, steel wool, or some other abrasive pad. Reinstall the ice bank probe over the evaporator coils. Now press and hold the compressor agitator button. The display should read CC11. If it does, hold the PGM button in until the E4 is displayed on the screen. The compressor should start at this point. If we still don't see CC11 on the display, remove the wire harness from the control board and jump all three pins on the control board. CC11 should appear. That tells us that the board is good and the ice bank control probe is bad. If the green light is blinking when we arrive, disconnect the HPCO wire harness from the control board. Short across the two pins on the control board to see if the compressor starts. If the compressor starts, the high pressure cutout switch must be replaced by a certified refrigeration repair technician. If the compressor still doesn't start, check power from the control board going to the compressor. The issue could be a bad control board, broken wire, bad contactor, or a failed compressor. For further assistance, contact Multiplex at 1-844-724-2273.